When you're buying a portable oscilloscope, some of the key things that you have to look out for are mainly isolated channels. So everyone who uses benchtop scopes would tell you that it's always referenced to a certain ground level. So any measurements that you're doing, any traces that you take, always reference to ground. Now, when you're doing power measurements and so on, most of the measurements that you do are floating and uh, they're always high power as well. So you need to be able to uh, isolate your different channels across the whole four channels, two channels, whatever. They have to be isolated between each other so that you can maintain a decent level of signal and so on and then you get your floating signals measured accurately if you like. The other thing that you have to look out for is the cat rating. So uh, a lot of scopes today out in the market and so on would uh, indicate what cat ratings they have. So benchtop scopes normally around cat 1, cat 2, again it depends on what probes you use, but again um, cat um, different ratings and so on things gives you different rated voltages as well. So a cat 3 and a cat 4 would give you 600 volts and a thousand volts and so on respectively. So that gives you a clear indication of what signals you can actually measure and what probes to use as well. The other key thing that um, a lot of scopes today um, out in the market don't offer is connectivity and so on. So where um, a lot of people will be able to get all these data and so on as well, there's, there's no way of actually getting that data off into a modern PC and so on. So uh, you have to um, use traditional um, serial data and so on and things as well. So there's no fast or updated way of getting that data in. There's also the issue of, um, of having all of these things in one system. So by using uh, FPGAs and dedicated hardware and so on, we can amplify the processing speed, if you like. Whereas if you have a variety amount of interfaces going through, a variety amount of devices talking to each other and so on, there's a lot of bottleneck, if you like, that each of those systems would offer. But having everything into one system, uh, having these dedicated FPGAs, having a system on a chip, if you like, to do all the DSP work behind the scenes, we can estimate and have a much more faster processing speed, if you like. That could mean in terms of how you actually operate the instrument itself, the speed at which you operate, boot times increase, uh, and also the, the amount of times you can get the trace data as fast as possible into the screen. So if you're actually looking for glitches and so on, you'll be able to capture it immediately. So these are the few things that you have to look out for when you look for a portable scope.